I saw a lot of a lot of good shaking power from you. Now th the next step is I want you to continue to make it shorter. I don't want this hand coming all the way back here. That's practically coming back to sh to to chamber. I want short short power. That's what we're working on. Um, and just try a couple actually. You you'll feel it. Just really short range, bam, pull and push. And the way that you're going to get that power out is not from the arms. You have to understand how to use the body. Okay? All right. That's looking pretty good. I, I think we can move on. Next step. We're just going to alter the hand position. We're going to use the same mechanism. And this should even further illustrate this reciprocity principle. See, when... It, when you look at a pattern, if you look at it and say, well, I'm never going to punch like that. This is a pattern. When you're punching like this and then you throw another punch, that's not to say that that mechanism of manifesting power is going to be used when you're on one, two, three. It doesn't mean that there's multiple punches being thrown. You have to think outside the box. You have to look at the pattern, look at the techniques you've learned, and see where you can take what you've learned from the pattern, what you've learned in terms of maximizing power and then how can you inject it within the different techniques that you already know. And there's plenty of lessons there. So it, it's not always going to be straightforward. And if you have a stronger imagination, you're going to be able to gain greater insight into what's going on. And that's the beauty of it. You look at the pattern, then you look at how you can adapt it, you look at how it can be applied in a multitude of ways. If you, if you only look at it, as what's being taught when you're training the pattern. That's a very, very limited uh, view of what's going on. Okay, so I just wanted to emphasize that. Now we'll move to the next phase, which is not here. We're gonna bring our hands up now. We're gonna make fists. And now it's gonna look like a hammer strike. Okay? Uh, and obviously, this might look a little weird, but let's work the pattern now and then we'll look at application. So again, one hand's out in front of the other. Initiate from where? The waist, the trunk, okay, the body. So initiate from the body, pull and push, and short range power. It's, it's all from the body. Work on that for a couple moments. Again, I'm gonna take a, a few moments to walk around, give you some feedback, and I, as you work on it, I also want you to think about what other pattern that you've learned can be incorporated within this pattern to, to, in some instances, further enhance this particular movement. Okay, we're, we're gonna wrap it up now. I, I, I want you guys to pay attention to the body engagement, the timing, like we were talking about. You keep working on it and it will develop. Uh, it looks a little weird though, doesn't it? If you don't have a good imagination, you might not be able to, to uh, sort of extrapolate as to how this can apply in a combative sense. But you guys all have a basic technique. This isn't a hammer strike. Maybe it could be. Um, let's look at a combination. He's doing a punch. And we know this technique. Can't we use this mechanism? Now, remember, again, this is a pattern. So you might say, well, when he punches here, let's turn this around, though, just to give another angle. So here's what we're doing, right? He throws his punch. We step out. Bam. When he punches here, this is glancing. This isn't glancing, this is more short range. But you can still incorporate some of the mechanisms that you've learned here on the initial impact and then glance off. So when he throws his punch, now I'm hitting here. It's not my arms that are moving. It initiates from my body. So there's just one of many applications. Very often you can use this as a scissoring move, but we started with the short punch. From there, we took the lessons that we learned and we discovered that if you just modify the position, there's a whole new realm of possibilities that are open to us. So from here, you have to start asking, are there any other changes we can make? And I, I want you to do that. But again, when you're, when you're doing that, when you're exploring what's going on in your patterns and your techniques, when you have an idea, come to me, come to Moses, one of the assistants, instructors, and discuss it with them just to make sure that you're not heading down any wrong paths. But uh, as I've told you before, it's much, much more powerful if instead of me just pouring all the information into you, you take what I've given you and then you see what you can do with it. You investigate it a little and explore it on your own. Okay, so there's the pattern. 
I gave you one application. We've got plenty of time uh, before the end of class, so let's explore that a little bit more and see if you guys can come up with any other applications.